Hello good people! My name is Lily Trichetti. I am from International Program on Science Education, Faculty of Mathematics and Science Education, Universitas Pendidikan Indonesia, the University Education in Indonesia. Today, I am going to share to you about one kind of the International Assessment Standard, namely PISA program for International Student Assessment. What is PISA? PISA is International Assessment for Measuring 15 Years Old Students. This, this test item focuses on reading, mathematics, and science literacy. And this test item will conduct every three years and the first time in 2000. Not only reading, mathematics, and science literacy, this PISA also focuses on collaborative problem solving. PISA is coordinated by OECD, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. And this PISA is uh, conducted in United States. There are 80 countries that involved into PISA 2018. And not only reading, mathematics, and science literacy, specifically for PISA 2018, there is one kind of the literacy that's named financial literacy in United States. In PISA assessment, there are three main types of outcomes. The first one, basic indicators, and the second one, indicators derived from the questionnaire, and the last, indicators on trends. What makes PISA unique? There are five aspects. The first one relates with the policy orientation. So the second one, innovative concept of literacy. The third one, relevance to lifelong learning. And the next is regularity. And the last, breadth of coverage. Let's elaborate about the PISA 2018. PISA 2018 is conducting by computer-based days. And this is the first time in 2015. How long to conduct this test item in PISA assessment? That should be 2 hours and 2 hours divided by 4 clusters. So this means one cluster has 30 minutes test time. As discussed before, there are three domains of PISA 2018. The first one, reading literacy, mathematical literacy, and the last, science literacy. Let's elaborate on reading literacy. What is reading literacy? Reading literacy is students' ability to understand, use, evaluate, reflect on, and engage with the text. And there are three focuses on these questions, namely processes, text formats and situations the second is mathematical literacy what is mathematical literacy mathematical literacy is student ability to analyze reason and communicate their ideas and also solve and interpret solution to mathematical problems and there are three focuses on this mathematical literacy namely processes content and context the last domain is scientific literacy. What is scientific literacy? Scientific literacy is ability to engage with science-related issues and with the ideas of science as a reflective citizen. There are three focuses. The first one is context, knowledge, and competencies. In PISA 2018, not only test item package that deliver to the audience or to the sample, but also there are some questionnaires that can gather the information. There are five questionnaires. The first one, questionnaires that relate with the students and their family background. And the second one, questionnaires that relate with the aspect of students' life. And the third one, questionnaires that relate with the aspects of school and the next context of instruction and the last about the aspects of learning in PISA 2018 there are five additional questionnaires that can focus on the first one computer familiarity questionnaire the second one well-being questionnaire and the third one educational career questionnaire and the next parent questionnaire and the last teacher questionnaire 
Let's get such explanation about the PISA, specifically for PISA 2018. For more information, you can follow OECD publications in social media, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or another social media. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you can get the meaningful knowledge and share to others. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.